full disclosure, I did not grow up at Duke's Mayonnaise. I'm from the Gulf Coast of Florida. <laughs> no, this is important. This is important. I began officially working here at 13. It's just something that we've kept going as a family for almost four decades. This is a beautiful old home that's been converted into a restaurant. So it feels like home. You walk in, you see the fireplaces, and we always have it decorated for whatever season is going on. We always have fresh flowers on the table, and our food is like, it's, it's super approachable, but it's definitely like, I wouldn't want to make this at home. So I dance in the kitchen a lot. I mean, I'm here by myself at six o'clock in the morning. I turn the radio up really loud. And one morning I was like, it's your time to shine. So I set my phone up to video and then it just became like, I'm gonna do this every day. We have to have fun. If we're not having fun, it's just too hard. So the ghost upstairs knocked the thermostat off the wall. Oh, it just like flew off. Just, so we're fairly certain that we have a ghost. And um, sometimes I'll be downstairs, so I'll just be doing what I do, and I'll hear thump. Okay. <laughs> well, I always tell it good morning because I figure. I would want somebody to tell me good morning if I was, you know, stuck somewhere for eternity. So one of the things that I make is a caramel cake. I just started tinkering around with my chocolate mayonnaise cake recipe, and it really didn't take long. I think I made three um, before I nailed it. And the frosting is like, it's that good Southern old fashioned caramel frosting that's almost like fudge. You know, when it comes out to the guest, they have to kind of break through that it's like soft, chewy, fudgy frosting and then the soft cake underneath. And we serve that with candy pecans and more caramel sauce just because why not? We get in three cases of Duke's Mayo a week. That's four gallons per case, 52 weeks in a year. We've been open 35 years, so we think we've probably used around 20,000 gallons of Duke's Mayo since opening here from my mother fighting to open this place with my grandmother's support, and then my own time here. My son is working here a little bit now, so maybe the legacy will continue. 